Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, um, hi, my name is Teresa Winfred, uh, but you can call me Terry. I know that's a mouthful, yeah? You can call me Terry. And for my old subscribers, wagwan. <laughs> So um, I trust that you have read the title and with that I'm just going to go straight into the video, yeah? I have five points of um, the things that I reckon are I have enjoyed with um, living in a studio apartment, okay? That have worked for me. But then again, you see I haven't lived anywhere else apart from home. Um, yeah, this is my first time living by myself on my own, Miss Independent, adulting, hashtag boss chick. Okay, but anyway, this is my first time um, living outside of home. I was always at home and my plan then was Nikiolewa Nona Hamahuku. Okay, but then I got a job that um, required me to move. It made sense for me to move and so I moved. But in the first stages, I lived with a housemate who had also not moved out for the first time. So we were figuring out this token situation. I had never, honestly, I didn't know anything about tokens. <laughs> I didn't know um, that people pay for water. Eh? Anyway, so yeah, um, that was very interesting. So, and then, okay, so now I live by myself. Um, she moved out and I stayed behind and have my own little space to myself. And these are just the things that I've, I have come to enjoy and loved about living in a studio apartment. Sorry, if you prefer bedsita sawa. But I think mine is actually a studio apartment. I mean, it's cute. So it's it's a studio apartment. I I I I um saying this because I have noticed that in Kenya there's a difference between a bed sitter and a studio apartment. Okay, so studio apartments are more on the higher end, while bed sitters are known to be on the, you know, not so cute looking ones, and. I don't know and the price range is also different so anyway 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 mine I, th I, mean, I think it's just the same thing only that um, the different terms uh, originate from different places like um, Americans would call it a studio apartment because they're also more spacious and blah blah blah, blah. and then you know bed is Kenyan and European yeah, in a Kalisha to Kitanda. But I have a couch and a lot of other things, so it's not a bed sitter for me. It's a studio apartment, okay? So, um, like I've mentioned, uh, okay, so my first point is the rent. The rent is amazing. I say amazing because there's such a wide variety. You can move out from home for from as low as 5,000. Someone was telling me of um, bed sitters or studio apartments that uh, she had seen some... Kasaran? I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, there's some other ones that she had seen um, that were going for five thousand, and she was comparing it. She was comparing the space to the kind of space we have here, and here we have. It's quite a big space. I mean, I fit a lot of stuff, and I can still fit a bit more stuff, and it's still it's still functioning well. It's still functionable, and it's still pleasing to the eye. So aesthetics and function nailed it. So yeah, number one is rent. So from as low as 5,000, you can move out from the from home or wherever else. And it goes up to what I think I've heard of some that go for 30K. I'm like, what? 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 It just didn't make sense to me. <laughs> but I mean, if you have the money, well and good. And then also, so now the thing with the rent is that once um once you have your budget uh, set out depending on what your pocket is looking like so depending on your budget you can get a home from you can get you can get yourself a little space your own home home your own home it's not a home it's a home it's a for real for real home you can get yourself your own place from as low as 5000 going up to 30 so um yeah i mean okay so now after you have figured out your budget then is when you start considering um the kind of lifestyle that you want to live the kind of i don't know yeah basically the kind of lifestyle that you want to live and some struggles that you just can't deal with for me it was water i, I <laughs> what i couldn't no there's no way I, if water was if water was to be an issue then i'd probably not move out yeah so by myself i've lived for about five six months and in those five six months i think we've only had water shortage once of which that was a caretaker 
uh, forgot to pump the water so we have I think our own borehole I believe so yeah it's pretty good so now okay after you've allocated your budget then now lifestyle is what will you factor in after the budget so let's say for instance you have um, a car you would want a place that has parking space uh, the road is good for your car and you have water supply you have electricity I mean well electricity is you know <laughs> depending on KPLC and your tokens the amount of money you want to put in so you regulate that for the most part um, yeah so yeah rent is amazing you from 5,000 going up you can get to live by yourself or with a roommate or a housemate and make life happen because you know you know why am I even making this video I think it's because a lot of times like um, there was also this statement that I was that somebody told me I mean I didn't take it too heavily at that time because of the conversation and the content <laughs> before the conversation nilia some uh how we she may share to an ishi bed sitter so you see there's already a negative kind of connotation to it and i'm just trying to show you listen <laughs> life <laughs> we can't be out here trying to please everybody and you just set out what what is important to you and then follow that and figure that out because yeah i mean because yeah, you just set out what is, what is important to you and then leave that out. So if if your budget is telling you maybe an even lower one, let's say the Mabati ones is what is going to work for you, leave there and enjoy yourself over there because that's what the Lord has seen fit to give you at that time. Maybe it will be more later on, maybe even worse. Because you know what, even the street kids, just as equally as he loves you. So... <laughs> I don't know. I'm all for authentic lives, and I can't be over here telling it. Oh, one bedroom. Oh my God, I wanna. No, me. I'm enjoying my place. I really love my place. So yeah, and it's a studio apartment, aka bed sitter, however you wanna call it. And Sijim Bonan Manza Kurant. I'm sorry. We'll go to point two. Cindy Osawa. Thanks. Ha. Okay. So point number two. I think it. Uh, so I'm gonna say sim a more simplistic life. So. I mean living in this place it just really because it's 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 on the very affordable let me just say cheap it's on the cheap side of life yeah so should things let's say okay so having experienced this and I happen to make a lot of money in the future um, and then lose all of it at some point I won't be too too pressed to go back to what I know and loved and enjoyed okay so it just it just really I don't know I don't know how to put that point across but you get what I'm saying like should things change in the future for the worst okay because it says in Kobetsita so what am I talking about worst okay so in a Betsita right I'm working towards making more money and you know moving out but not in time soon I'm not in a hurry uh, moving out and uh, actually yeah getting a bigger place so should things change in the future okay right now i'm in a studio apartment um someday i'd like um a five bedroom <laughs> i know i just agenda one bedroom five zero to five anyway so um in the future let's say i have my five bedroom and you know i have and money money just disappears because no one is ever promised about the next day or the next year so should things really fail at some point in my life then I, I can easily revert to what I already know and enjoyed and I found co comfortable. You get what I'm saying? I won't lose my mind because I've seen people lose their minds because of losing money. Yeah, but I'm not saying that that's the best thing and you never really look forward towards that. I pray that it doesn't happen, but should it happen, I am very well equipped to just move back to what I already know and love. Okay, so that is a simplistic life. Point number three is... Um, so for me, <laughs> as an introvert, I can easily get away with refusing to host people because I'm like, guys, I don't have the space. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like I, I, I feel so mean saying that because I like, I like people and I like to cook for people. Not all the time, but like Nikiji Tolea, when I want to host, oh my God, I'll host you. But when I don't want to, I'm like, Sina space, Sina space. You can easily get away with that and just have your own time to yourself and enjoy your own space and <sighs> yes yeah so for introverts this is perfect 
perfect hakuna mtu atakusumbua okay wait but if they knock on your door and they can hear you itabidi tu mzima kila kitu and just stay inside yeah so for point number 3 i want to say easy cleaning okay so here's here's my problem here's my problem i love a really clean space whites everything arranged you know looking nice and crisp but i don't like to be the one to do the cleaning ah oh, that's where the conundrum is i i don't i like a very clean space but i don't like to be the one to do the cleaning also i like my arrangement of things spendi watu wakikuja ku nini it's just the cleaning part that i really don't like so um yeah having a small space i can easily clean um i can clean easily as opposed to being in a one bedroom or a two bedroom so like i have a day for scrubbing the walls of my bathroom i have a day for um probably when i'm scrubbing my bathroom is when i also mop the floor or do my laundry and then another day to just panguza the surfaces really clean out my carpet oh, my carpet gives me stress oh my god it's very it's gray like a light gray and yeah this this kembu county <laughs> vumbi vumbi my friend why anyway so yeah easy cleaning um apart from the viombos viombo ni akila si oh my god i don't like <laughs> i can spend it with but i really like a clean space so because i like a clean space i have to clean and so having a small space cleaning is automatically uh, faster easier more less time consuming you know so yeah easy cleaning now second to the affordability of the rent i think living in a studio introduces you to a very minimalistic living and it's so beautiful because <laughs> me and clutter me as a creative person i hold things and i'm like oh i okay so i would hold things from like a cute container um a cute paper and say i do a craft off of it someday and never end up doing it and i just i would end up accumulating a lot of things that was back at home uh, in my father's place okay so eh man it's it's really made me to be conscious of every purchase from grocery because again <laughs> things are going to go to waste uh cuz you're one person to um uh what what you would call them like furniture and everything else because you have to be very conscious apart from functionality it has to be also very pleasing to the eye aesthetically pleasing so hey, it makes you a very conscious person so you're not just making purchases just cause and especially in the wardrobe department oh my god too many more wardrobe we <laughs> like it's so tiny i had to like ongeza I'm looking at it like you can see. Anyway, so yeah, I had to add um some kind of clothing system, but still even with that, I'm conscious to only buy the things that are important that are needed and if I buy a lot at some point, I need to take out some. So it introduces you to a very conscious way of living which is very beautiful because again, wastage is just not it's not the proper Christian living that we are called out to live, Cindy. Okay, so uh yeah. That's it for today's video. I I I I I I I I I I I <laughs> Anyway, so I am very excited to um shoot this video. I mean Bamba. You see, for the longest time, so with where I live, there different different sections of the house are designed differently to fit that sectioning. So the the other homes or rather other houses that have longer kitchenettes i wanted that house for a very long time until something came up and i was unable to get it and then i just i just started loving and accepting this space apart from the walls this cream yellow this i don't like that color apart from the wall painting i'm very happy to have this place and it's only now that i'm starting to really appreciate it and really fall in love with it and just arrange it in a very functional way that works perfectly for me because it's only me that lives here so it has to be very comfortable for me very functional very practical and yeah so i thought to put this video together to um one encourage authentic living honestly one 
to um just let you know that uh it's okay <laughs> to live in a studio apartment okay that's it and it's 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 okay just you know what you want out of this life and follow that so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did as much as i did um yeah so see you on the next one i love you but most importantly god loves you okay bye